Well, good morning, everybody. It's been a few weeks. So, yeah, I wanted to just show a couple of bargains that I got. I went to uh, our local ham fest here the other day. Hadn't been there in a couple of years. And I found a couple of things that I just absolutely could not live without. Uh, not because I needed another frequency counter or another oscilloscope. I bought them because of the price. So I found this uh, this Agilent 53131A. Uh, it uh, has the high stability option installed. Of course, it's got uh, uh, HPIB and serial. It's got all the standard stuff. Twenty-five bucks. I said, you know, since there's no way I'm leaving without this. So I brought it home. I've run it through its paces. There's nothing wrong with it. So I ordered the uh, the bumper and handle kit for it. So that should be here next week. Um, I've also uh, gone through the uh, the time base uh, uh, alignment procedure. It's actually you don't open the case anymore. You uh, it's all menu driven. So you go in and uh, get into the calibration uh, menus and uh, have it calibrate to your reference. And so I waited 24 hours. Hooked it up to my GPS DO, and it's done. The other uh, item here is a Tektronics 475A. I used to use these in school, and uh, they're really nice old analog uh, scopes. This one does power up, it does work, but it needs a lot of cleaning on the inside. A lot of the switches uh, don't work properly because they've oxidized pretty badly. But they do work. If you fiddle with them long enough, the thing will start working. But I got this, the manual, and two sets of probes. A 250 megahertz probe in there. I'm not sure what that one, uh, what the bandwidth is on that, but it's selectable. All this for 25 bucks so another uh, another item I just said you know I'm not leaving without this I don't care if it if it doesn't even work the probes are worth that and the probes work fine so this will be a uh, project that I'll do later open it up and clean it and it's likely to have to be recapped at least at the power supply level but it does power up it does work and it, other than showing just Oxidation issues with the controls, it seems to work fine. But anyhow, yeah, uh, like I needed another frequency counter, but uh, I'm telling you, this, this thing here, I'm pretty impressed with it. It uh, does pretty damn good. So I'm going to uh, probably get the, the, uh, the third channel option and install that. Uh, just at least a 3 gigahertz option, because that's all I need for this. And uh, just add it into uh, the collection. So it'll, uh, once I get the bumper kits installed, I'll just put it there on top of the, uh, the multimeter and uh, I'll be done with it. So, yeah, uh, score. I'm glad I went. I didn't really intend on buying anything. Thought about maybe looking for another TNC for packet work, but I couldn't find one. Nobody had one. There was one there, but it was pretty beat up. It was an old a, a, a MBX, a 232MBX, but anyhow, guys, uh, that's all I got for right now. Um, uh, I'm sure I'll uh, get something going here later, and uh, we'll uh, catch you next time around, man. Thanks for watching.